Hi guys, so this is rounding to decimal places, so you should be familiar with rounding to just general place values, so just basic rounding before you have a look at this. So uh, if you're not sure how to round um, just to normal place values, like rounding to the nearest hundred or rounding to the nearest ten or rounding to the nearest thousand, then just have a look at that first. Uh, so here rounding to decimal places anyway a decimal place is a number after a decimal point that's the first sentence that we've got here um so we're going to draw a line after the number of decimal places asked and then we're going to round from there so let's have a look at the first example here so 24.6782 so it says here to round to 3dp so dp stands for decimal places so uh, let's count decimal places here. So the first decimal place will be the first number after the decimal point. So the first one here then is the 6. Second decimal place then is the 7. And the third decimal place is the 8. So you could, should be able to see that the third decimal place here is the 8. So we're going to round to that. So therefore I'm putting a line down after the 8. So I'm putting a line down after the number of, place, number of decimal places asked. So 3 in this case. Uh, then we go back to our... Um, rules of rounding so if the number after the line now is less than five then the number in front before the line will stay the same if the number after the line is five or more then the number before the line will go up by one in this case the number after the line is two therefore the number before the line will stay the same so it'll just be 24.678 so the eight just stays the same so that's uh my answer that's rounded off to three decimal places second one here second one actually gets a little bit uh, more complicated it says here to two decimal places so my first decimal place would be this first nine here that would be the first decimal place so then the second decimal place is actually the second nine so my line would go down there after the second nine now watch what happens here so the 8 after the line means that the 9 in front of the line would go up by 1. But we've got a problem here. Because it's already 9, uh, it can't really go up by 1. The next number will be 10, and that goes to 2 digits. So what happens is that will actually become a 0, and then the 1 next to it, so the 1 to the left, will go up by 1. But again, you've got another 9 there. So uh, this 9 here needs to go up by 1. Therefore, it will be just become a zero, and the one next will come up by one. The, not the one next to the left will go up by one. In that case, in this case, it's a five, so it'll go up to a six. And then my decimal place obviously stays. Um, everything after the line becomes a zero, but um, in this case, we're rounding off to two decimal places. So six point zero zero, that would be the answer there. So here's two more questions if you just want to pause the video and try them now and then I'll go through the answers. So my first one, uh, 41.9849. So it says to two decimal places. So the first decimal place here would be the nine and the second decimal place would be the eight. So my line would go down after the eight, so in between the eight and the four. The four after the red line then means that the eight, because it's less than five, means that the eight will just stay the same. So my answer for this one will just be 41.98, and then that's it. So 41.98. The second question then, it asks us to round to three decimal places. So my first decimal place would be the first one after the decimal points, which will be the 8. The second decimal place would be the 9, and the third decimal place would be the 3. So my line goes down after the 3. The 7 after the line then is 5 or more, therefore the number before the line, the 3, will go up by 1 in this case. So that 3 will turn into a 4. So my final answer will just be 10.894.